a little, that's a photograph of Del Mar. This is a diagram of Del Mar. It uh, uh, didn't get built exactly like this, but it does kind of illustrate and see uh, that it's nice to be able to see this. See, this is like a little transit plaza area. And then right over here on this side, this is the apartment building side. This side, there's this little tan building. You can see that. And if we look at this diagram, that's the tan building right over there. So that's the apartment building. So you can kind of see how it's a process. The reason it's in here is to show you the conceptual process we go through. We have to diagram these out, illustrate, uh, and they go through a lengthy approval process until they can actually be constructed. This slide is in here to give you an example of a project that is not a joint development project at all. It is a, uh, a TOD project. It is located at what is now called South Pasadena. It used to be called Mission. And this project involves single family homes constructed by a developer uh, adjacent to our transit station. Our transit station is over here across the street. There's some public art there, a little small mini pocket park. Uh, and you cross the street and this building and this building and this building are part of the developer's project. It goes all the way back to the next street. There is metro parking right here. I don't think you can see the sign, but you go down in there. So sometimes metro does a project where it's not really defined as joint development at all, but it is very much a transit-oriented development project. This entire project is constructed to make very good connections to the neighborhood, make very good connections to the transit station. It's a banner project. It's uh, incredibly well designed. They have very, very good property values. And this project looks like a lot like what could be done all across the country. This is a very good example of a, of a TOD project that is not a joint development project. Uh, we do have bigger projects and uh, this particular scale uh, I think could be something you might be able to see in your community. Uh, it's at Wilshire and Vermont, of course. You can see the big thumbnail there. Very nice piece of art. One of the few uh, examples of TOD projects that have been on the front cover of the LA Times. Very nice uh, project picture there. This plaza, uh, they've changed. They don't have the planters there anymore. Uh, they're doing farmers markets there. Uh, uh, they, you know, have a little bit of growing pains in trying to figure out exactly how to use their plaza, but they're working on it continually. Uh, and if you ever go out there, it's very well used. There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of ridership. That's exactly what we like to see in the project. This is a another banner project. Uh, these are relatively smaller uh, units. Uh, they're more affordable. They're kind of for urban urbanites. Uh, and you're going to have the opportunity to provide input. If you, if you like what you see in a project like this, and this is the type of project you might want to see in your community, then that, are the t that is an example of the type of thing you would want to communicate, uh, not only to me, but also to Marusi and Linda and everybody else that you have to Please say a command. Uh, we sometimes make arrangements Please with say a local, command. Uh, uh, agencies, like LAUSD in this case, to